In this problem, we need to find all solutions of this cubic equation here. But we're given a very big hint. We're told that 6 is a solution of this equation. Well, what does it mean if 6 is a solution? Another way of saying it is 6 is a 0 of this equation. And that mean, what does that mean? That means if I put 6 in for every x in the equation and I work out the arithmetic, what value am I going to get? 0. And as 6 is a 0 of this equation, by the factor theorem, we also know that x minus 6 is a factor of this equation. What that means is when I do division, I divide this equation here by x minus 6, I'll get a remainder of 0. So since my factor is linear in the form of x plus a number or x minus a number, I can use synthetic division to do this division. And remember, when you do synthetic division, the number you put in the box is the 0, not this number. It's the opposite of this number. It's the 0 you're looking for. And remember, with synthetic division, we take our equation here and we strip away the coefficients. So I'm going to get 1, negative 8, 8, and 24. So let me write those, 1, negative 8, 8, and 24. Leave some room. And how do we do synthetic division? Bring down the 1. Then you do 1 times 6, and you write the answer over here. 1 times 6 is 6. And then you add these two numbers, so negative 8, plus 6 is negative 2, and then we repeat the process. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Then we're going to add 8 and negative 12, and we get negative 4. Repeat the process again. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Add the two numbers here, and I get 0. So remember, this is the remainder. All we've basically shown up until now is that 6 is a 0 of this polynomial. But it has helped us a whole lot because the quotient here is what we're going to work with. Now remember, I started with a cubic equation. This was my third degree term. This will be my squared term. This is my linear term. So I now know that my original equation in factored form is x minus 6 times x squared minus 2x minus 4, and that has to equal 0. All I've done is written this in factored form. So now... I'm in good shape, my quotient is quadratic, and do you know how to solve quadratic equations? Hopefully, they're either going to factor or you're going to use the quadratic formula. Well, this one will not factor, so we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. And remember, in this case, what is A? A is 1 b is negative 2, that's the coefficient of the x, and the constant is negative 4. So the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now it's just plug and chug time. So it's negative b, so it's the opposite of negative 2, plus or minus b squared, well b is negative 2 squared, minus 4 at times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. 
So I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to write up here. So I'm going to have x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, negative 2 squared right here is 4, and then I have negative 4 times 1 times negative 4 is positive 16, all over 2. So x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Remember, I'm going to write it up here because I'm running out of room. The square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times 5. Square root of 4 is 2, so it's going to be 2 times the square root of 5. So x equals 2 plus or minus 2 to the square root of 5, all divided by 2. So what I'm going to do is divide each of those terms by 2. So what are my other solutions? 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus, remember these reduce, these reduce, so I get 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So what are all the solutions? I have x equals, we were given the solution 6, and then we have 1 plus the square root of 5, and 1 minus the square root of 5. So there are my three solutions.